Hello, I'm Severin Suzuki. We're a group of 12 and 13 year olds trying to make a difference. We've raised all the money to come here ourselves, to come 5,000 miles to tell you adults you must change your ways. years on since real. We need nothing short of a massive paradigm shift to give us a chance at transitioning to a strategic way of living that will carry the human race forward into the future with dignity. I wonder now who has the, who has the power to truly make change. The European Union is on side, Brazil, India, South Africa, a lot of countries are, are, are pushing for the same thing. But we've got some holdouts, you know, the United States, uh, Canada, Japan, Korea, and Russia. Um, those countries need to either step back uh, or, or change their position and get on board. Well, I'm really hoping that this meeting is going to build on the success of what, was hap what happened in the original Rio meeting. Because lots and lots of good international agreements came into place then. But there's been a trouble with those agreements that have not been acted on, or not consistently, and so that really needs to be addressed. We hope that we will see a number of goals that would provide energy, food, and water security for everyone, lifting those people who are currently without those resources into the ability to enjoy them. What EU needs to do is push ambitiously forward for a, a, an inclusive green e economy roadmap with concrete targets, concrete goals in different resource teams that we actually can, on a global level, limit the use of resources to interplanetary boundaries. We wish to see commitments on ocean issues and we certainly wish to see the ocean emerge as a true priority out of the Rio Plus 20 process. Uh, particularly on the high seas, whether they be fishing, whether it be shipping, whether it be ocean noise, whether it be drilling uh, for oil and gas or mining. You know, all these activities are, are, are happening in the world's oceans and we have a patchwork of agreements and laws and standards and so forth and we basically need to pull that whole process up and really get some focused negotiations on, on, on making sure we can manage activities on the oceans effectively. So that, that's our hope for, for Rio. I believe we have an opportunity to do this and I'm really looking forward to it. When everybody else wants to say that nothing's going to come out of Rio, it will be our role to build trust amongst the least developed countries, amongst some of the countries that will be the hardest hit. Unless we solve some of these problems, that will be our role. When everybody else says no, nothing's going to come out of Rio, we need to say, si se puede, yes we can. I have to believe that once people take on this responsibility, we will turn the tide.